Republican U.S. Senator Cory Gardner announced this week that he plans to release a freeze he had placed on certain U.S. Department of Justice nominees. Gardner cited that he received assurances by Justice Department officials related to its handling of federal drug policy. David, what kind of assur assurances do you think Gardner received in order to pull back this freeze that got so many headlines a few weeks ago? I think, uh, the, well, the way he describes it, and that's the only side we know of these conversations, is very strong assurances. You know, when you, you're having these kind of showdowns in, in politics or in diplomacy, sometimes you don't always get the result that the your adversary says, oh, I was wrong on everything, you know, thank you for, for coercing me into changing my mind. And so he wasn't going to get Jeff Sessions to say, oh, oops, I goofed, sorry, you, you win, Senator Gardner. But between the lines, at least the way Senator Gardner describes it, is this was a fairly uh, strong guarantees that he's gotten. He, he said uh, that, that as long as the federal priorities from the 2013 coal Man memorandum are respected, like the state's working hard to prevent export uh, to states where it's not legal, things like that, um, that they are going to leave the state alone. And he said if the state, if the Department of Justice doesn't follow through on that, then it's a direct contradiction of what he was guaranteed, and he would take action again, which would lead to, to more holds on, on more nominees. And he said he's likewise gotten the assurance that the acting U.S. Attorney, Bob Troyer, will continue to focus on people who are acting outside of Colorado's regulated system uh, rather than complying with Colorado law. So who knows if the DOJ will keep its promise, but it seems like Gardner got, got some good assurances in there. Eric, as you look at it, I usually have these questions that are very optimistic or very cynical. Did Gardner win a political game of chicken, or did he cave after the grandstanding headlines went away? I don't know. I don't know that any of us know. I think time will tell. David is somewhat correct in that, you know, Jeff Sessions isn't going to just throw in the towel or wave the white flag at surrender. Um, that's not how the game is played. But I don't know what prohibited Cory Gardner from being a little more explicit than he was in terms of talking about the nature of what he got in return. Senator Gardner's position, while forthright, was probably unsustainable over the long haul, particularly from somebody in the party in control of the White House to uh, just forever and a day lock up those nominations. That was not a sustainable position to begin with. May have been some bluff move involved. So at some point there was going to have to be some give anyway in, in Cory Gardner's position. Time will tell what he got in return for that. I think the real sort of uh, sub story to the whole thing here is the degree to which Donald Trump no matter how controversial it was within the party, no matter how many never Trumpers were out there and some remain, has really fully taken over the party. And if you look around at the most vocal Trump critics out there, particularly in the U.S. Senate, they're all lame ducks. They've all opted out. They're the Jeff Flakes, they're the Bob Corkers, and a few others. And Cory Gardner is trying to walk that line of not being a complete Trump disciple but still being a team player, and I think there was pressure on him here to get a little more aboard the team. Justine, should Colorado's pot industry feel optimistic by this headline? Um, no, and it's it's interesting because uh, this would, I you know, I wonder what changed Cory Gardner's mind so quickly on this position, but it also puts him in a vulnerable position here in Colorado. Um, he's already not very popular amongst, you know, liberals in the state, but a lot of people in the pot industry, it's huge, and this is going to change his popularity in the state, wondering if he is going to protect marijuana laws here in Colorado, which, whether we like it or not, is very much part of the economy now. It's here to stay. So I think that this is an interesting move, and it'll be interesting to see how it plays out amongst voters in Colorado and his popularity here. Patty, what do you think? The, the freeze, as, as he puts it, was a short one, but was it effective? Well, it might have been more effective than we know, because it wasn't just that Jeff Sessions had gone back on his word. Uh, when he, Cory Gardner had asked him during his confirmation hearings if we'd, he would observe states' rights, and he said yes, and then the rescission of the Cole memo and t nine years' worth of federal, federal policy on not prosecuting in states that were following their own legal laws about marijuana. So Sessions not only went back on what he had said, but he also went back on what Trump had said during his campaign. And Trump said in his campaign that he would observe states' rights, and we haven't really heard anything from him 
to the contrary. So it's not, the word might have come to Cory Gardner not just from justice.